Hello and welcome back. This is Double Debbie and this is episode 20 of my Minecraft Stonelock Let's Play series. <laughs> it's episode 20. Oh my gosh. It's, uh, it's, I look weird to me. Um, I like the goggles, but seriously, the, the glasses are much cooler and helmets are for sissies. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, anyway, what I want to do today is we're going to try and finish off our mystical agriculture. Uh, well, not really finish it off because I don't think we're ready for the ultimate furnace. Let's, let's have a look. Let's do it and let's see if we can... Um, I was looking at different... There's like a torch mod. I saw this dread lamp and I've never heard of this torch master mod. So I looked it in and it's got some uh, different way. I don't really want to cut off the mob spawning yet um, because that's how we're generating all of our uh, stuff over at the mob farm. Um, once we get um we we need to get a way to spawn a wither skeletons and once we get that and we can turn our do some more customization to the mob system where I can turn it off and on so I don't have to constantly be leaving it on um, we'll probably look at that megatorch because the endermen are sort of annoying. And I saw that you can even stop passive mobs from spawning, uh, which would be awesome too because <laughs> they're, they're kind of annoying always running around over here and Maybe we can make sure we get a few parrots and ocelots and uh, one of each animal and then just turn it off so they're, they're not spawning like crazy, getting underfoot and whatnot. Uh, but these look like they might be some good lamps because I've noticed um, there are spots in my farms that these just these middle lamps will not touch. Uh, so I had to put these and and it was like these two right here on each corner were not growing so they weren't getting enough light. It was like zero growth but now they're growing since I added these lights and man that's just that's a lot of lights to light up the area so I thought um oh and also <laughs> I've been working on setting these farms up I figured we got them and we have access to all the seeds um, with that guy. So I've got um, a stack. I brought a stack of emeralds over here just so I could buy uh, whatever seeds I wanted from him. And I got these two farms filled out and uh, a little tiny storage system for each of them set up. Now I don't have upgrades for these yet, so it's probably going to fill up quickly. Uh, so I need to get some more emerald upgrades for those. And I also semi-automated these. To, I got it to where it will take the items out, but it appears that these blocks you have to you can't insert through the bottom uh, so you can't really uh, I did hook it up to this chest over here so it theoretically should be able to pull out of this chest and deposit the the bait into these but uh, because it's it has to be inserted from the top. I really don't want to have the the thing coming up here <laughs> through the ground, but uh, 
I don't mind coming and loading them up every once in a while. Actually, I could go ahead and put more in there since it automatically withdraws it. I don't need to worry, but I was only putting 16 in at a time because there's only 18 slots. Uh, so if I only put 16 in, it would never overfill. So now I can just load them up because it's automatically going to pull everything out and just put it over here. So yeah, I can, uh, and a stack, a stack of bait in there is going to last a long time. <laughs> And so I was, I was wanting to go make some, let's go make some of these lamps because I'm curious as to, will it go through the whole room? We need to, I don't, I don't think I have very much gold over there, but I have been melting down some over here. So it's just a pain to go up. <laughs> uh, I need to see how many blocks it will take to the viaducts to see how much it will take to get up to the top and then I can just zip around with my viaduct network. Oh yeah. Uh, so we're also gonna need glass, and glass over here, yeah. And glowstone, so we are gonna have to go up there anyway. I think I have a little bit of glowstone in my network, but I haven't I haven't hooked it all up. I've been I've been trying to get um, all the stuff and things taken care of, but oh man, there's so many stuff and things to do. So let's just make a whole crap ton of those because we can. And I don't know what the area it says it's. Um, slowly illuminates a large area removing the lantern causes the lights to slowly decay so it slowly illuminates it so it, it uh, let's go and we'll put one like in the center of the room here and just knock down all our torches Pooey, we don't need you anymore. And see how, hey, get out, out of the way. Oh, we missed one. And I wonder if it will get into the hallway too. I'm curious. Well, Will it light up this whole room? I don't know. It looks like it's got this corner over here. Look, it just did like this area over here. So it might be enough. It might be enough for this room. Oh, there's another section. We might not want to go too far because <laughs> mobs might start spawning here while that's lighting it up. But that is going to uh, help lots, I think. I don't have to spend so much. I guess we can get rid of this torch and this torch oh it looks like uh, let's wait and see if it will get that little X over there so we need one corner and so I like uh, yeah that's definitely gonna be enough for this room that's awesome it definitely worth the gold <laughs> Come on, you can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh, yes, it did get the hallways. Oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. So 
Come on, light up. Light it up. Light it up. Oh, we got a pink sheet. Okay, there we go. Um, I've been slowly just uh, monitoring these guys. I think these are the last two. Oh, <laughs> haven't been over here in a while. Let's, let's see, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh, yeah, I've been uh, working on the farm, so I've been over here I just oh wow this one just uh, let's go ahead and put that over there yeah these have been going so slow I haven't been in here to check on them in a while uh, but I added some more roosts up there for when we do actually get some more that I want producing. I don't really think a lot of the stuff I need that much of. Um, like this one, it's only producing nuggets and I thought I might uh, exchange this out for a compactor. A compacting drawer. So that it converts it up. So that it will increase its storage. Um, yeah, so let's go check on our mystical agriculture stuff. Oh, yeah, and I I got all of those farms. I tried to get some of the more common things like lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and any of, the, like, the spices. And I got, like, um beans and corn and peanuts and uh chili peppers seaweed just because i want i want to make sushi <laughs> and you can't do that uh and i also put some hemp in there because i did i had one spot left and i was like well let's do the hemp um and i think you need the hemp uh this stuff makes I think you can make string out of it, but we'll go into that some other time. Anyway, I will I would go around replacing all our torches over here as I can um, with these cool lanterns. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad I saw that. That is awesome that that one block lights up this whole area. It's really awesome. Um, and I think we've gotten, oh my God, we got 34 of these. Hey, hey, hey uh, I think that's going to be enough. Um, yeah, let's see. Um, the, our last couple of quests we have in here is to do the Supremium Furnace. Let's, cause we only need tw 12 for the Supremium Furnace. And we have 34, so yay! We need a block. Oh, we're gonna have to go snag one of our furnaces. So let's go do that. I I did make another furnace just so I could have two over here. So, oh, but there, I one piece of charcoal won't quite smelt. A whole stack of items <laughs> well quite so you could smelt almost a stack of items with uh, one piece of charcoal so that is still it's amazing I bet once it's the red one it will possibly oh yeah sweet um, Oh, that's a good one. The draconic cores are, uh, they're pretty expensive to make. Have we not gotten any of those? I could have swore we got some of those before. 
here why do I have this oh I got a pumpkin because it was the snowman I need to do that to um... anyway let's go ahead and see if we can get oh yeah look at all of those torches I picked up let's see if we can get uh... I'm curious to see, will it smell the whole stack? On one piece of charcoal, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Let's see. Oh my God, look at that. That's, no. I think it did it. <laughs> Holy cow. That was a huge upgrade. That'll do several stacks on one piece of charcoal. Holy cow. That is just awesome. That's awesome. I'm I'm flabbergasted. I didn't think it would be that big of an upgrade. I thought it would be a slight upgrade, but that's freaking fast, man. <laughs> wow. Okay, so <laughs> awesome. I want to try and see if we can do these. Uh, oh, I don't know if we'll be able to. We have 22 supremium. Uh, I think we're going to be, yeah, we need like two more Supremium. So let's go check and see if we've gotten it. We may have accidentally. Oh, we got at least, oh yes, we have enough. Awesome. Yeah, because we need a total of six. Oh, yeah. And then we can upgrade our crafting seed. And then upgrade this ingot. What? And that should finish that whole section. All we need is like the ultimate furnace. But let's go ahead and claim our rewards and see what they give us. And then we'll look at the ultimate furnace and see if that's something. I don't think we're going to be able to do it today because we need a lot of supremium. Oh, 12 yellow rat ore. A growth crystal. That's the second one I've got. And some more stuff. All right, let's go drop this stuff off. Um, I just threw these over here. And I think we already have some yellow right here and growth crystal back here. Every time I come back here, there's a uh, experience. Oh, man. So, I really wish I could <laughs> dismantle this bar and the seed and get all the stuff back from it. Uh, but we're done with that now, so we can just toss that in there. Um, one thing I might look at doing is maybe upgrading some of these seeds. Uh, because, like, one of this essence... If we just break one of the Supremium down. Because uh, to upgrade the seeds, it takes... Um, the Tier 2 is going to take, not this, the Inferium Essence. So yeah, that, it, that will upgrade 32 seeds. Uh, so we might go ahead and do that. And uh, Let's go ahead and grab up... 
a bunch of these seeds. Because that pretty much doubles what we get out of it. Uh, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Alright. And then... Boink, 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 and boink. Uh! Wasn't it? Oh, it's the Prudentium. So that just tossed everything on the ground. <sighs> okay, so let's toss this back in here. And try that again. I thought it was the very base one. Okay, so that's only going to make eight of these seeds upgraded. So, and the good thing is that uh, I'll just upgrade these as I can. Um, and we should probably look at that ultimate furnace. and see what we need. I know it's going to need a lot of Supremium. A sec. Ultimate Furnace. Furnacle. <laughs> uh, it's going to, oh, it's going to take a Supremium Furnace and 27 Supremium. Oh, man. Okay, so maybe um, we'll finish that off some time um i won't upgrade these until after although it would help because like every one of these is going to upgrade eight seeds so let's just go ahead and do another one because that'll help that'll help getting more Soink. So we can't do our ultimate furnace today. Um, but we can look at, I, I want to get some of the other smaller quests taken care of. And also, let's go check on our little guys over here since I need to get rid of this chicken. See if they've had any babies. Oh, this one has. We'll just pop those in there. <laughs> I really need to get one of those over here. But it really doesn't need to be fast. So, on my quest to get the Blitz, the Blitz chicken, the Blitz with the T, uh, see, it's there's a Blitz with a Z and a Blitz with a T. Uh, I have gotten some really nice chickens. Like, um, uh, in order to get the blitz, you need gold, and you need iron, and you need redstone, and you need coal, and you also need um, the blaze rod, which is we're working on right now. These are like. Uh, what you need to get the basalt chicken and once we get that we can then breed it with the sulfur chicken which we already have and get the blitz rod chicken so we're really close to getting this and then we'll be able to make uh as many of those viaducts as we want -ha -ha. <laughs> so it'll be awesome um 
Uh, let's look. Yeah, this is going to be for probably next episode. Um, what we could do is maybe do some of these or... Uh, we did get the flowers we needed to do this one. And we can do this one fairly easily. We could also go check in on our cobble gin and see... See what kind of... Uh, stuff it has in there. I haven't checked on it in a while since we made the the mining dimension portal. What are you doing? Oh wow, it's got 20 quintuple. I guess we could tell it to go ahead and do the step up because for the deep dark portal you have to have like I think it's up to octuple. So we have the quintuple. Um, and we'll want those to stay in the interior and then apply. Remember, and that gets the sextuple, which then can be made into the septuple. And, um, I think if we put, I think if we can just click compressed, cobblestone. I think you can actually put, um, like, I can do septuple. No. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I don't want the recipe. I want, what is it used in? There we go. There. Yeah. So that's uh, how you can do that. That gets the octuple compressed, which is the highest. So that's going to take it quite a while to do. And that's all of the slots in this thing. We could even get some more um, cobble generators hooked up to this. Oh, well, maybe we'll do that some other time. And let's put you up there. Awesome. So that's... <laughs> we don't have to worry about this for a long, long while. And if we get to where we're really uh, needing this, we'll go ahead and make some more cobble gins and hook it up and possibly move it to a new area where we have a little more room to work with because um, <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> an awkward spot for uh, expansion. So what are we going to do now? Okay. Let's go ahead and do the end one. Although, because we're getting to where I might actually want to go kill the Ender Dragon. Uh, but that'll be once we get the Supremium Armor. So we're going to have to uh, look at that. Let's look. Premium. Um, look at this. If, um, if you if you look on here, it has a set bonus. When you get all four pieces, you get creative flight, <laughs> and you have really awesome armor, and you can put charms in it as well. So you can have some really nice armor. And look at all that durability. That is awesome. Sweet! But what does it take? Okay, it takes 
three Supremium bars and the Supremium armor core. And, oh yeah, every single piece takes a core. And you can put a jetpack onto the breastplate, although I don't know why you would want to. But, yeah, this armor core... Oh, wow, it takes a nether star. So, oh, and it looks like you have to tear it up. I had forgotten about this. So, yeah, that's going to take, to get a set, we need like four nether stars. And wither skeleton skulls. We have plenty of the wither skeletons. Uh, the wither skeleton skulls. I'm tempted to, we might look at trying to get a wither skeleton, a wither killer set up going. Uh, we just need a room that was reinforced and I think um, I know because I've done this setup before that there is some sort of reinforced obsidian I think Let's uh, let's put in reinforced is that how you spell it? and enforced. This is it. It's witherproof. And it just takes obsidian and iron bars. So we have tons of that. Um, we might want to look at upgrading the storage for the obsidian so that we make sure we have enough of this. Um, so what we could do, I think I have, um, I have a drawer. So let's look at just breaking this. Hmm, am I going to be able to get over there? Eh. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. There we go. Success. Okay, so that will be doing its thing. Um... I don't know, can I, I can't take things out without seeing the face, so I don't know if that's optimal. We could just upgrade that hopper with a couple of item conduits. Break this guy. Uh, the only bad thing is we gotta get we gotta get down to where we can see the little doodads. So we want this to extract always active, and then we want to put the drawer up here and tell it to insert, and then we're done. Now we should be able to get as much obsidian. Um, we might. Ooh, do we have an emerald upgrade over here? Yes. So we make sure we got plenty of obsidian now. <laughs> it's going to take it quite a while to fill that thing up. Um, honestly, we could. I bet there's a, a freaking chicken. Let's look at this. Is there an obsidian chicken? No. 
Yeah, look at that. There's an obsidian chicken. That's crazy. So if we need a lot of obsidian, we know where to get it. So if, if that's not enough, then I don't know what is. Okay, you can go back. Um, let's put the hopper over here. Maybe we'll remember it's there if we need it. Um, what did, what did I do with those flowers? Did I put it over? Yeah, there we go. Um, I just need a little bit of quartz now for those uh, lavender quartz that we needed. I forget, you can't use the mouse wheel in there. Uh, we only needed two of those, so we'll go ahead and try to do the Ender Quest. And we'll... I'm gonna have to make a different room for this portal. This portal is pretty sweet. Uh, oh! How did that kitty just go into the mining dimension? Did it sneak? <laughs> So, I might make... Is that... That's my parrot. Did you finally come out? You did! Come on! Come on, little guy. You can do it! Come over here. Sit. I had another parrot. Oh, it's back at the kitchen. I had it sitting over here. And then I was back in the farm area and it all of a sudden it just appeared. Just appeared there. Is, is that you? No. Here he is. There's the other guy. This, this is a pretty one. I like that one. Um, in between episodes, I knew I was getting really low on food, so I went ahead and made up some really good food. <laughs> That's why I started planting those other crops, because I wanted some really good food. And I made this meat feast pizza. Look at that. It's got 12 meat pops and 29 saturation. I don't know what I need all that for, but I got it. So we can wait until we're way down low on our hunger um i believe i needed like the ender tether which should be back here i don't know let's let's look and see what is the shoes in we need two of those and normal quartz so i'm glad i checked before i just took one and ran off Oh, I should have just used the thing. I sometimes I just forget. My my brain just doesn't like to work sometimes with all this uh, chemo running through my system. It's a wonder I can think at all. All right, so that's that part of the quest. I wonder why it keeps putting me back on the mystical agriculture one when I wasn't even on that. Uh, we just need the evil tear. Oh. Evil tear. Oh, we can totally do that. We need a wither skeleton skull, a gas tear, and an ender pearl. All right, let's just zip over to the mob farm where we have all the stuff and things. XP. Um, no, that's going to be down. We need an ender pearl and it should have a gas tear in here and the wither skeleton skull. Haha, uh -huh, you can't get me.
There we go. Quest completed. Um, and this will open up a portal to the end. And we can kill the Wither Dragon. But um, we're not ready for that until we get our Supremium Armor. So let's try to do some of these little quests as well. Like this Auto Sieve. I'm pretty sure we can do this. Uh, yeah, it's just iron and some glass panes and a sieve. Let's open this up. Oh, we got some more of that draconium infused. Uh, what is this used in? This dislocator receptacle. It sounds like some sort of transportation device, but I'm not sure. We'll have to see what that goes to later. Uh, we're going to need these things uh, for our portal, so let's put, um, let's put those there because we will need them. Uh, we also need that 16 obsidian and 10 in stone. Let's go ahead and put that in the chest, too. Uh-huh. 16 obsidian. And I believe we have some end stone back here. Let's see this one. Yes! Let me just go to the hub. And it was, no, no, yes. Awesome, so that's for the, the end portal when we're ready for it. We still need to get the Supremium Armor. And I, I would like a really good bow with um, either a, a lot of arrows or in infinity on it. Mmm, coffee. Yum. Okay, so I, I wonder, do we have some extra glass? Oh, we do have some glass panes. Excellent. And we have some, well, we didn't need the iron bars. We just need the iron. Uh, so let's go to the control room because I know we have iron here. Hey, I hate these stupid little poisonous guys. Um, we need two blocks of iron. We'll put the glass panes in there. Ooh, we're going to need some wood. And some, I uh, have sticks in there. Ooh, we're gonna need a slab. That's right. Uh, I hate making a slab when I know I got one somewhere. Yes. Sweet. Okay, so clear that. We need this. Boink, 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 boink. And two sticks. And then we should be able to just make that quest done. <laughs> there we go. Let me get another reward. Now these, <laughs> these are sort of bottlenecks. We can't really go down there anymore. And we're sort of bottlenecked here. But there's still some of the easier power gen and storage quests that we can go into. Uh, so I think we can, let's do like these three quests on here and then we'll probably call it an episode. Ah, oh, growth crystal. Ooh. <laughs> um, let's do the hub. 
Um, yeah, we'll put that in there. This this stuff will go to the mob farm when we're ready. So let's look at them. Let's look at which one do we want to do first? Oh, what did what happened to that? Uh, there's a quantum tank, a black hole tank, and a black hole unit. These sound like the industrial foregoing things. And this is, I don't know what. Let's look at the quantum tank. Quantum tank. Quantum storage. Oh, that looks easy enough. It's just a bucket, some iron, and then some obsidian. There's a bucket. Oops. Um, let's grab the obsidian and then head to the control room. Actually, let's grab like a whole stack and put it in there. Boink! I love this spy a duck thing. That is so awesome. Okay, so let's put that in there. And just zoinky. Ah, oh, quest completed. Hey, why did it do that? It's a little bit buggy. Oh my goodness. Four more of those. We got like 12 now. Holy cow. Nope, it's here. All right, so now we need to look at the black hole. Black hole. Oh, I can't wait to get the black hole band. That's so awesome. I remember I remember when I got my first black hole band and put it in my bag and that was just awesome. So we have a black hole unit and a I mean, we don't need the we have a black hole unit and a black hole tank. And it is through industrial foregoing. What is that? The heck? That sounds uh, dangerous. <laughs> it's Batania. Uh-huh. So the black hole unit, it looks like it takes a machine frame or machine case. And then some items that we have already. So let's look at these. That takes like nine redstone. Redstone isn't an issue now. So it's four iron and either, I think material wise, this would be cheaper because it's four glass and four tin versus nine redstone and four wood. Uh, so we don't have the tin over here. Do we have glass? Yeah, we have a little bit of glass. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and put that in there. Did we already turn it in? Yeah. Uh, so we're probably going to need two of those. So we need to grab, was it just 10 for that? Yeah. Let's grab a stack of 10. Do we need anything else from here? We're going to make this. We have the glass. We have the iron. Um, we need plastic, ender pearls, and eyes of ender. What about this other one? Yeah, it just needs buckets. Okay, so that should be all we need. Oh! <laughs> Let's go to the mob farm and get those other bits. Uh, let's just grab
grab some ender pearls. And I should have some eye of ender down here. Yes, let's take some of them. Oh, we can um we can drop this stuff off now. No, you don't go there. Awesome. Now we can go to the hub and pick up. What is it that we needed to pick up? Oh, the plastic. Yeah, 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 yeah. My plastic. Let's just put all the plastic in there. <laughs> I'm so lazy. I click on that. Ah. All right. So let's make uh, two of these and then two of these. And then um, we're going to need chests. I don't know if I have chests made. Oh, I do, but I don't want. Oh, the other one takes buckets. That's right. So we need chests and buckets. So this one takes chests. We need that. A black hole unit. And then, oh, I think if we just take this and do that, we get the black hole tank. Sweet. Awesome. Oh, that's so amazing. I really need to get into uh, doing some more automation for um, our RF system or I mean RS system the refined storage uh, because that's all you need you don't need um, to to have any complicated like a bunch of storage or anything to get started in the automation you just need um, you just need the basics oh black lotus and some more quartz war we're gonna be set for Emmy oh and I can't run anymore ah. and let's just throw these in there actually we might use this black hole tank because uh, I'm having a problem with <laughs> all that experience is going to waste over there. Oh, it gave me a buff too. I get strength and resistance for that. Sweet. So let's hook up this. How can I do that? Um, do I just remove this? It got picked up. Aha! Uh -huh. It's collecting all that. <laughs> Sweet. That is awesome. And it picked up the drum. And we got some more patient bags. <laughs> uh, these are actually going to come in handy. Oh, I don't want to get into an inventory with these guys around. I'll Start jacking with me. Oh, look, we got another one opened over here. Sweet. And another one, because we're going to need, uh, we're going to be needing these. I'll just put that down right there. Oh, nether stars, <laughs> baby. Okay, so. We're going to head back to the hub. We're going to go ahead and call the episode here. We did, I mean, it, we did a lot of quests. We got a lot accomplished. So I'm really happy and I hope you come join me for the next episode when we're going to do something. <laughs> we're going to... We're going to see how much Supremium we've got so we can see if we can finish and get our ultimate furnace. Um, 
And then we're going to also look into getting the Supremium Armor so we can go to the end. Um, it, there's so many things to do. I still can't decide on what we're going to do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.